Hey, it's Chad and Catherine, and today we're painting. Yeah, we're going to talk about chalk paint today. It's become really popular in recent years. It's easy to apply, has a smooth, velvety texture when it's finished drying, and you can put it on almost any piece of wood furniture. Yeah, it actually, chalk paint works great when you're distressing furniture, but retail chalk paint is so expensive. It is so expensive. So we're going to make our own today using DAP Plaster of Paris. Yeah, plaster of Paris is typically used to patch plaster walls and even for casts and molds. But today we're going to use it for a little different, more fun use really. Yeah, really fun, really easy. It's a recipe, kind of like you're cooking. We're going to use one part plaster of Paris, one part water, and three parts paint. We don't need a whole lot of paint for this project, so we're going to start with a third of a cup of water. A third cup plaster of Paris. Then you want to mix that up really smooth. While she's doing that, I'm going to measure one cup of latex paint. Yep, and we're ready to go. You can add that to this. Okay. All right. Just make sure you stir it till it's smooth and mixed really well. And once you get it to the right consistency you want, you're just about ready to paint with that. Now you want to make sure the piece of furniture that you're working with is smooth and prepped for painting, then you're ready to go. So the first coat is going to be kind of streaky, but luckily chalk paint dries within an hour. So you can come back with your second coat to fill in all those streaks. The more layers you add, the more rich the texture becomes. You're going to mix the second batch of paint just like the first one using the same recipe. We're going with gray over black, but really any color combination will work. You're going to paint the second coat directly over the first. If you want to distress the furniture after you finish painting it, use a fine grit sandpaper or a sanding sponge to add some wear and tear along the edges. And remember that chalk paint dries really quickly, even in an airtight container, so you want to make sure that you only make enough for this project. Yeah, but your plaster of Paris will be just fine in a nice dry place. I really like how this project turned out. Yeah, that looks great. 